Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today for these few moments with our Good Shepherd. For our reading today, I use the words from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, the first nine verses. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him everything was made, and without him not one thing was made that has been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of mankind. The light is shining in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Now I'll skip ahead a little bit to verse 9. The real light that shines on everyone was coming into the world. During the Christmas season, we're surrounded by light. Candles and Christmas tree lights, house decorations and spotlights. And all of those lights remind us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The season of Epiphany, which began on January 6th, is the season of light. But I find that ironic since the month of January is sometimes the darkest of months. Yet perhaps there's a lesson in that irony for us. Because we are or were a people walking in the darkness of sin and death and alienation from God. As the dark days of January can be Emotionally and physically depressing, the darkness of our sin was spiritually depressing. And yet that darkness can't overcome the light. In fact, the darkness makes the light shine even more brightly. God's gracious forgiveness in Jesus shines so brightly it makes everything bright. This is Jesus the light of the world. He is the light that illuminates mankind. And without Jesus, people are still held captive in the darkness of sin. Oh, they may be culturally uh, refined. They may uh, be filled with a sense of intense religiosity. But without the light of Jesus, they're still held captive by the darkness. Well, Jesus came into this world to, to bring light, to release those prisoners from the darkness. And you and I are recipients of that marvelous light shining into our hearts, illuminating God's love and grace and forgiveness through Jesus Christ. Since we have Jesus in our life, it's like the dawning of a brand new day with the sun shining brightly. And so we can follow that light, walk in that light, all the way to the glorious new day of an eternity in the light of heaven. We pray. My Lord and my God, you are the true light that can illumine my soul. Please dissipate every cloud that has blurred my vision and has held me in darkness. In your name I pray, amen. Well, my friends, may God bless you this day as you walk in that light that shines from Jesus.